afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know I'm not in front of my background, but you know what? I've had a bit to drink. And you know what? Also, too, look at all of these reactions we have. You know, don't need to go get it set up. You know the story. Jets win! 5-2 to two over the Calgary Flames. And they have officially clinched a playoff spot spot baby and it's a lot of good a lot of good happened tonight and you know what a lot of good that stayed good and needed to be shown happened tonight let's get th let's go through this first off the one detractor the penalty kill less than ideal if this is your first time tuning in please subscribe and leave a like we're trying to hit 1700 subscribers you can donate down below to the channel if you want. Uh, you don't. You don't have to, of course. Obviously, your support is all we need, all we appreciate for sure. But yeah, for the third time in this channel's history, we will be covering the Stanley Cup playoffs. Flames get on the board early in this game. Uh, Uyghur scores on. I forget who took the penalty. Uyghur scores make it one nothing. Reaction here. This is a toughie because obviously Uyghur has a really good shot here. Puts it perfectly over Hellebuck's pad right next to his, his blocker. It's Hellebuck versus Wolf, which was a good duo, uh, a good um, d battle tonight in terms of uh, in between the pipes. I'd actually say Wolf over performed better than Hellebuck, but Hellebuck didn't need to make as many crazy saves as Wolf did. Uh, but yeah, no. Um... They give too much room to Uyghur in the top of the slot, and he scores to make it 1-0. Sucks, but oh well. Jets get a 5-on-4. Scratch that. They get a 5-on-3. They don't score on the 5-on-3, but they keep the pressure. And Gabe Velarde on a tap-in makes it 1-1 reaction here. Yeah, now they put traffic. This was big. The power play scored twice tonight, and it really needed to. They didn't score on the 5-on-3, which is concerning. They also didn't score on the 5-on-5, five 5-minute five, five uh, major later in this game, which is also concerning. But two power play goals in a game is a step in the right direction. I will say that. Um, Jets keep the pressure going, and this is another thing. The lines tonight... They put Toffoli in the third line. They put him in front of uh, Nina Ryder's spot. Once Nina Ryder comes back from his skate injury, if you can run Nina Ryder, Lowry, App, uh, Toffoli, and then put Appleton on the fourth line over either Ayafalo or Barron, ideally over Ayafalo, I think you have the perfect four lines. I think you can run a four-line team like that. Um, what that creates is Perfetti stays in the top six, and he does a hell of a back-checking job to create this Nikolai Ehlers goal reaction here. Maybe. Oh, you guys have some fire. Oh, walk it! Yeah! Let's go! So this did cause a little bit of an uproar because it led to Nikolai Ehlers playing with the second line. So, and everyone was on the line going, ah, it took Bones three and a half periods to get well, to to, to put uh, Shifley and Connor back together. Guess what? Didn't keep it. He switched back and it was the right decision as we'll get to later. Here is Carter's thoughts on the game. Please do give it a listen. That's it! That's how you fucking can't! Oh, come on! Yeah! Good morning, afternoon. 
afternoon in. My turn, jackass! Sweet! Get the fuck out of here! What a start by Herbert! Big Jets win over the Calgary Flames. The Winnipeg Jets have clinched the playoffs. Once again, and I am very, very excited. They went on a bit of that losing skid. That was very, very worrisome. Played a pretty solid game. There were some times I was a little worried um, during this game today, but um, overall, it was a good time. Uh, my cousin from Thunder Bay, he's a Flames fan, uh, was in for the uh, was in for the game, so I was able to watch it with that uh, him with that. That was awesome. I had one of my other friends at the game as well as my whole family. It was just wonderful. And so, all in all, Gabriel Velarde with the hat trick for the Jets. Love to see Velarde get in that. And what what did we learn throughout this? Well, so there's a, a few things. Number one, it's that, I think it's Props Pistol. I don't know what the hell. I can't remember what his name is. All I know is that he now in two straight games against the Jets has been given a five minute major and ejected. Now, the thing I will say is I've looked at that hit a lot of times in slow motion. He did not leave his feet. However, and Morrissey did have his head down. However, flying elbow. And so that right there, that, that is, that is the kicker, um, for, for it. I, again, it's one of those things I've looked at that hit. It's, you know, the, the feet do come off the ice, not till after impact, but, Elbow to the head, that's got to be a suspension, especially with his history. I expect one to two games, probably. Could get three to four, considering that it wasn't that long ago he had gotten one. And again, the very last game we played against Winnipeg, the exact same thing kind of happened. So I expect some discipline uh, from the Department of Player Safety, but who knows if they'll follow through on that. And so overall, yeah, I'm pleased with the, with the Jets. And again, Bones, keep Ehlers on the first line, keep Connor on the second, keep... Shifley and Connor on separate lines. Separate lines. I cannot stress this enough. The second the Jets tonight put those two together on the same line, that's when the Jets stop playing. It's one of those things, whether you like it or not, Ehlers, Velarde, Shifley, and then having Connor with uh, with Monaghan and Perfetti. It just works better. It just works better. Please do that, Bones. So, all in all, happy with the Jets' effort. Want to see more of it, and we'll ha have to see who we get matched up with in the first round. So, back to Zach. Uh, important reminder here. I, I, I don't think I should need to say this. Carter is literally my partner on this channel. He's my brother. Um, it's important that uh, you listen. That Honestly. Yeah, I, I really do appreciate all he does for this. He puts all the thumbnails out there. He sends us clips to use. He does so much for this channel. So I really do guys hope that we all give him the proper appreciation he deserves. It's got, 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 got a comment the other day. It wasn't, wasn't nice. Not going to lie. I wasn't, wasn't happy about it. Anyway, we go to the second period. Uh, Flames were pressuring early in the second period. And they would end up scoring. Mira Manov off a deflection from the point. Scores to make a 2 2 reaction here. Got oh. I actually really like Miramanov. I think he's a good fit. They got him from uh, from Vegas in the Hannafin trade. Um, he he puts this puck on net right where you want it, right on the on the left side of Hellbuck with a lot of room there. He deflects in. A toughie, you'd like to have that way back. I understand why it goes in, but that being said, in the playoffs, those type of goals hurt because they happen more more frequently. As teams trying to game the system, so be aware of that. Also, there were some Jets alumni in the attendance tonight. 
Speaking of Jets alumni, this would have been Dale Howarchik's birthday today, so it was very special for the Jets to clinch on this day. Jets keep the pressure going. They get a power play later. This is going to be credited, I believe, with Tyler Toffoli. Nemeskov doesn't quite get a stick on this, but it deflects off of Rasmussen and in the net reaction here. Don't trust well, Neil Pion. And just like that, the Jets have a one-goal lead going into the third period. Before they get to the third period, Martin Pospisil. <sighs> Marty's a tough case because Martin Pospisil has shown really good strides in being an NHL player. But he's also shown a very big reckless side. Over the past few years, he's made Cole Perfetti his target. He's hit him illegally twice in the head in the past year and a half. And he hits Josh Morrissey, elbows him high. Now, I will say this. Credit to Rick Bonus, and I understand why the Flames fans are mad about this call. They call it a two-minute elbowing penalty, but Rick Bonus yells at them so much, they call it a five. I think, in the end, they got the right call in calling it a five-minute major in a game misconduct. That being said, to get to the right call would definitely piss off a lot of Flames fans because, like, you can't just yell to get your way, but we do. Martin Possible still gets ejected, and here's him leaving the building. It's the right call. It is. It's it's the right call whether you say... He hits him right in the head with the elbow. He's got to just rate it in. All right, that, go, that leaves us to end of the second period. What time is it? Moose watch! <laughs> Moose watch. So, I actually have some news. Uh, Jets, or Moose played two games. They unfortunately lost both against the Abbotsford Canucks. A little disappointing. That being said, they still hold the fifth position in the Central Division. Interesting of note, I actually have a possible signing on the horizon. I'd like you guys to keep your eyes and ears open. Dylan Anhorn of uh, St. Cloud, something St. Cloud, um, is put, is put has been linked to the Winnipeg Jets. Now, here's what will happen. Because he's a college prospect, uh, he's an unsigned college prospect who is a point per game and a left shot defenseman. Now, the workaround to this, because if you sign him to an ELC, it automatically kicks in next year, and he can't play with the Moose. So the workaround to this is is him possibly signing an amateur tryout deal with the Moose and then signing the ELC in the offseason. Keep an eye out for that because he's been heavily linked to the Winnipeg Jets. And this is a good sign, by the way. If the Winnipeg Jets are getting college um, prospect interest, that's a good thing to see. The last two uh, prospects they've claimed out of college have been from Providence in Parker Ford and Quinnipiac in Wyatt Mongiovanni. The aforementioned uh, Bon Giovanni now playing with the Belleville Senators, uh, Ottawa's HL affiliate, and Parker Ford enjoying a very solid tenure with the Manitoba Moose. Um, here are the clips from the last two games in Abbotsford reaction here. Is Lundmark, his pass all the way back to the line for Hainala. He'll try a shot, and he scores! Billy Hainala from the left wing just fires one in off the far post. Right, Hainala. Keeps it going to Ford, to the front of the net, Malott, quick jam play, and he scores! Jeff Malott, his 20th goal of the season, 80th of his career, and he moves into a tie for fifth all-time in Moose goal scoring, and the Moose have a 2-1 lead. Tony Nato does well to push the puck out to Janssen Fialbi, and he'll streak up ice. Tony Nato digging hard as well. He's heading towards the goal, and can they get it to him? They do, and he scores! Dominic Tony Nato with a shorthanded goal, and the Moose back within one. Comes to the line, and Bartow, his shot wide of the net. Torgerson spins it in front. That'll find its way to Bauer on the right side. He'll go to the net again, and he scores! Tyrell Bauer with a friendly bounce in front, and the Moose are back within one. Now Malott will poke it in. He's got to step on the defense, going to the backhand. He's pulled down, shoveled in the puck. 
goes over the line, and it's a goal! Yeah, and uh, yeah, just important to see. Uh, I'll keep you guys uh, notified, obviously, if the if the signings do happen. You will be the first to know, because I will tell you. Uh, yeah, we go to the third period, though. Third period, Jets keep the pressure going. They move back. Ehlers and Velarde backed with Shifley, and that line pays dividends. Ehlers is one of the fastest guys in the world. Come on. See, that, that's good, though. He doesn't... Ehlers does a stupid thing on It's a big goal, and honestly, it just shows why Gabe Velarde is such a such an important part here because Nikolai Ehlers can create chances. Gabriel Gabriel Velarde forces chances because he stands in front of the net, he stakes away the goalie's eyes, and he outmuscles players that he shouldn't be able to outmuscle, and he keeps the play pressured on the f- front of the net. He gets this goal on the rebound. Great to see. Uh, Morrissey and, and Pion get the, get the assist, but Ehlers et, opens that play by driving into the zone. And then, with the net empty, Gabe Velarde completes the hat trick. It's great to see. <laughs> it was funny. The other night, people were talking about Dubois because he had a three-point night. That's gone now. Doesn't matter now. Again, the Jets just showing how important trading is and how important it is to make good trades. Gabe Velarde has been a wonderful addition to the Winnipeg Jets. And now the Jets are hoping to try and work their way up to get home ice advantage over the Colorado Av- Colorado Avalanche. I don't think anything else is more likely, but they're in. We're in, boys, and I'm excited. What are your guys' thoughts on this game? Let me know down below. Um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Really do appreciate it, and we will see you next time. One, Nicole Anders, chips it through, gets around, and he shoots and scores! What a goal!